Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Thanks for coming back. It has been a minute since I filmed or thought about YouTube around um, like Black Friday, Thanksgiving time. My baby hit like a sleep regression and then never went out of that. So it took us literally since this week to kind of fix our sleep issues. Um, but meanwhile, I was exhausted, so something had to give. So definitely, since YouTube is just like a hobby for fun, um, it was definitely one of the things that went to the wayside. So as long as I remain well rested, I will hopefully resume making regular content. So today, I just want to show you guys what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I like filming gift type videos, and actually, I had a good idea this year because... Um, if you ever made a video for what I got my kids for Christmas or birthday or whatever, it's kind of hard to film because you have to get all this stuff up and it's not that big of a deal, but just, but it's just time consuming. And as you know, I go all out. So I have a lot to wrap. So I had a good idea this year that I think you guys will enjoy. I am going to do it by month. So because I buy a little bit every month, um, to like kind of spread out financial burden or financial obligation of Christmas gifts. Um, so for example, uh, after Christmas, I hit up some of the holiday deals. And um, so I have Christmas started already for 2023. So I thought I would take those items and I'd film a video on what I got. So maybe you can hit up some of those deals or get you thinking about some things. And I'm going to upload them every month or every month that I buy gifts. And then after I'm done um, with the video, I'm going to wrap them. So hopefully by the time December comes around, like I'm done. And then um, <clears throat> at, in December or November, wherever I want to post it, I, I can um, stitch all my videos together to make one big long video. So if you ever have like a long gifting video in the background, um, you can put that on. So if you want to enjoy that journey with me, please subscribe to my channel. I love doing these gifts. I have three kids, one six, one soon to be four, and a nine month old baby. So uh, this year I have little love baskets for them this year. So um, a lot of this stuff is still out and still available if you wanted to take advantage. So I thought this would help you get some ideas. So I wanna show you my son's basket first. So my son is gonna be four in March. So here's his basket. First of all, let's talk about these. They're plastic. I got them from the Target dollar spot and they're stacking storage. So this is multi-purpose and I need more storage items for our playroom right now. And so you put these flaps down and then they stack on top of each other. They're $5 each. So I got one for each of the kids. And then after Valentine's Day, I'm going to put these in the playroom and I'll use them for storage. So those are still there. The other thing is, um, oh my gosh, Dollar Tree has the cutest little heart baskets this year. I have no long-term use for them, so I didn't get them. But I think they're super cute if you want a little cute love basket that's even more affordable. Um, Target also had in their dollar section rope baskets that were a beautiful color theme. They were like olive green and then they had some neutral colored rainbow handles those were really cute but i uh, but this is what i ended up getting i was just like you know the options that were out there so i try to hit up the dollar spot with things that i know they'll use and love um so that's kind of what i do first so the first thing is i got them each some bath stuff and both for my older two. So the first thing is the Crayola body wash pen. I've never got them one of these before, but it was a dollar at the dollar spot and I read the directions on how to use it. You twist this off and it basically is like bath paint, but this thing is also body wash within itself. So it says to remove the cap and then you can draw on the walls or it says on your like washcloth. So um, I'm sure this will last like one, two, maybe three baths for them. Um, so there's that. The other thing that I find at the taller spot that I got for Christmas, I don't know if you ever watch my stocking stuff or video, but if you did, I got the Christmas color scheme of these. And these are, um, the building blocks at the taller spot. They're a dupe for the, um, Plus Plus brand. And these are a dollar a tube, again, a dupe because of the Plus Plus brand, um, $7 for a tube. And these were at Christmas, so my older two got them then. And these were, these are hit, these are so much fun. Um, you could make 2D and 3D structures with these, 
So that's why I think they're so fun. But these are a super huge choking hazard for little kids. So please, um, they're rated for four plus and seriously, baby toddlers, no. Like my kids aren't allowed to play with these or open these in any, any of the babies. Like yes, they're safe places. So love these for older kids. Um, the next thing is my older two got each of one of these. As you see, I don't have a lot of treats here because um, they're not super big into candy or chocolate. Um, they they enjoy it when they have it, but just in their own quantities. Um, so th it is what it is. But I saw this and I, I knew this was what I was going to get the kids. My son is a huge Spidey fan. And look, it's a little Spidey heart box. This was at Target. And these are still available at Target. So it's just a box of chocolate. And then here's his little Spidey plush. He doesn't have any Spidey plushes. So perfect for him. And as you know, I'm like a year round shopper. Wait, I'll show you the other two little things first from Target. And then I'll move on to the other things. So the other thing that I just found at the Target dollar spot. And this was a huge score for me. Were these... Um, bath time foam pieces and look I found team Spidey it comes with a bath crayon in here and then these foam pieces you get them wet and then you can stick them to the side of the tub I've never owned any of these before but I've seen them before and they look really cute um and then it comes with this own net storage device to keep them dry in the store so I got this at the Target dollar spot I want to say maybe this was a three dollar item the last thing I got I got like an art thing for each of my older two and my son loves to paint so I got him a paint by numbers set and there's a couple sheets in here um there's three paint by number different pictures in here and I think he'll he'll do pretty well um he's good with number recognition well I'm actually I don't think I've ever gotten him paint by numbers yet so this is his first time so I'm excited um the next thing that I wanted to show you is this guy right here um this was free to me but I'm gonna tell you all about them so Slumberkins, super pricey, but I think they are worth the money. So um, Slumberkins are kind of um, like their taglines, discover a world of feelings. They are good with teaching emotions, life skills, life transitions and life problems. I first heard of them um, you know, like through Facebook ads or something like that. But then I looked more and more into them and I made a purchase for each of my kids last year, kind of based on, um, how, how, where I think like there would be a tool to help me help them with their particular personalities. Um, and my, so each stuffed animal will help with something like that. So for instance, my daughter, perfectionist by nature, really hard on herself, like strives to be the best. Um, so I got her the Slumberkin that's a yak and the yak, um, teaches you that you're loved no matter what. And I'm obsessed with the board book because the board book, it, it gives you really good teaching tools for parents. Um, it will say like, I always thought that I had to get straight A's in school, but now I know that I'm loved no matter what, things like that. And then my son got the Ibex. The Ibex looks like a little goat. Um, and it's for really big feelings. And I love that board book because it, it, it speaks to on a child level what emotions feel like and how they can help with those emotions it's just a kit and a company that helps me help them especially somebody that values emotional intelligence a lot so slumber kids has been a great company that I like to have in my pocket like if I ever have the disposable income to spend more money on an item it's going to be slumber kids um so anyway so last year I bought three of them. It was buy three, get um, a free mystery tin. So and they're these are called tins. So uh, so we got Bigfoot and he was pink. So I said, oh, I'll save him for Valentine's Day. Perfect. They normally come with a board book and an affirmation card, um, but this came at the perfect time because we have the holiday book or the Christmas book from last year, and Bigfoot is kind of like the star of that book. And my son, so my almost four year old, is obsessed with Bigfoot and identifies with him. He is obsessed with Slumberkins. It's his favorite book. He wants to read that book almost every night. So, um, Bigfoot, you get these affirmation cards. So, look, his affirmation card is the world is better because I'm here. And I love that. 
So I'm super excited for him to get these slumberkins. I think it's the perfect time for him. Um, so why I also wanted to tell you this, I'm not like, like, look at me. I only have a thousand subscribers. I'm obviously not affiliated with anybody, but slumberkins is going with a deal right now. Um, it's now through Valentine's day. If, um, I, with my referral code, you can get $20 off of $40 if you use my code. So I'm going to link my referral code in the description box because obviously I have an account with them. Um, so it will be in my description box. So if you click on my code and you use it, you should get $20 off of $40. And that's a good, like a super good deal for them. Um, right now they have their Valentine's Day collection out and I encourage you to look at it. Um, it's um, like showing gratitude towards your friends is a way that you can meaningfully spend valentine's day um i hope that i i will pick up some of the collection they always do a great holiday collection um i can't believe i'm talking to you that much about slumber kids i <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> I'll, I'll move on i promise but um if you purchase with the code um just being transparent i think i get a 20 dollar credit towards the store but it's now through valentine's day 20 dollars off of 40 and if it allows you to use multiple codes hear me out use the promo code sei bold so s-e-i-b-o-l-d i think that gets you an additional 10 to 15 percent off and you need to spend 75 dollars to get free shipping and that's the kick in the butt so i get that i'm just trying to tell you like everything i know okay but that's bigfoot love him so he will be our fourth slumber king to join our home um the other things that i found from amazon just on good good deals um that i know he loves dino smashers um zubu like uh, marketed towards boys dino smashers marketed towards girls rainbow corns and um rainbow corns it's harder to find a deal but dino smashers like i got this big egg for 11 dollars if your kid likes sensory things, Dino Smashers is a blast. There's slime, foam, sand, so many different ways where you can dig and find the dinosaurs. Um, and then you can piece the dinosaur together at the end. So I don't know if you're like boys or your kids are a dino lover and they would like to collect different dinos. Um, so yeah, we've, we've had plenty of Dino Smashers over our time. Um, but I think they're a very fun just for the experience themselves. My husband loves opening these with our son. So the Dino Smashers. And then I got the Hot Wheels Track Builder Unlimited. Um, uh, this is just to help. And then it comes with its own store in case. I think I got this on a deal from Amazon too for like 10, 11 bucks. If you keep looking at Hot Wheels daily on Amazon, like you eventually find a pretty good deal. Um, my son's building a Hot Wheels city in his room. So this will be like a good track expansion to kind of connect it all. So that is my son's stuff. So now let's move on to my baby and then I'll go on to my daughter. So now that we've talked about our son, we can talk about my baby. He's nine months old. Um, the last video I posted was, um, I'm kind of into like Montessori-ish ideals on like kind of one of the foundations on how I choose to raise my kids. And my baby, it's the first time where I've taken that approach or those principles or some of those uh, tips and I've applied it to a child at such a long, young age. Um, so what I did that I loved for January is I started a themed life shelf and then um, it doesn't stay that way all month. So if you look at January, I used like a winter theme for January and then I just rotate out the toys kind of on a regular basis because babies um, change their skills and interests so frequently. Um, it's every day, a few days or every few weeks, I just swap things out to keep things interesting. But in February, I'll, I'll, I'll make him a Valentine's Day themed shelf and I and so this is what his basket is around um and I'm so excited to share those with you um but I did get him a bath item too and he got the little strawberry duck from Target it's at the dollar spot I know he's gonna love this in the bath and it's so cute um so that was his bath item and then I got him some snacks and I got these from Target and these are adorable, especially if you're going with the Valentine's Day theme for your baby. I got them the Gerber snacks for babies, the superfood hearts, 
and he's never had these before but it just looks like some strawberry banana cereal um so i'm sure he's gonna like this no it's quinoa strawberry banana broccoli he honestly he um out of all my children um he eats the most variety of food so um the least picky even from a baby age um so he like them but honestly i bought them because they were hard and they fit and they fit the theme the second snack item that i got was the happy baby organic snackers and look at the little x's and o's so i thought that would be cute um for him too so um i think they melt really easily like puffs so i'm sure he'll love this so now i'm gonna get into um the rest is just like for our shelf idea in mind um so let me know what you think but i'm also going to give you some ideas a lot of these came from target the target dollar spot and i'm about to teach you a couple different ways if you want these items in your home for your kids how you could use them so the first thing is these adorable adorable heart-shaped measuring cups from target they were three dollars at the target target dollar spot so actually what we'll use these for a nine-month-old baby well part of the montessori life uh, so part of the things that i include um in his shelf is something for language and it might be one or two spots for language um so for example january i used arctic animals to show him so basically so anytime if he touches it or if he's holding it it's just something for me to talk about with him so for now that's what i'm going to use these for i'm going to put them in a basket and i'm just going to use them to talk about hearts or color or measuring cups um so it's just something to like talk about for him to explore and also um he's particularly interested in un in taking apart so he i think he'll really get a lot of entertainment out of just taking these cups apart now i told you i was going to show you like multiple uses so for example for christmas this year i want to get him in his own kitchen um so valentine's day for next year how cute would it be to have these little valentine's day accessories in that kitchen a third way <laughs> to love and use these items are um if if you make sensory bins for your kids, how cute. You can make the cutest Valentine's Day sensory bins with these. You can make some taste safe um like cake mix and make a little cake mix studio. Um if you want some like more ideas on how to do that, you can. But the man, I um I enjoy putting some of my time into some sensory bins to my kids. Um but so yeah, this is like another way that these will be used. For all three reasons that I said before um i got this cute little mixing set too so for the same purposes the same i'm just gonna put it in a um basket for february for him and then he can put it out and i'll say whisk spatula spoon um but these are also a silicone texture so i know he's gonna love to put them in his mouth and chew with them i think they're gonna be good for teething for him i found this at target at the target dollar spot and this is a wooden box and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I know I will find something. Um, it said special delivery for fresh cut roses chocolate. Um, so I thought it would be really pretty for now. Like, I think I might just put things in it. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or I might just leave it out because now that I'm talking, I kind of have an idea with my next item. So I have this. And then I got this off of Amazon for $9 and it is a heart stacker and it's silicone and it's, look, the little hearts, they press together like this. So super cute. Um, I it, it also kind of matches his interest right now because he's really into taking things apart. So um, now that I think about it, it might be cool to just put those in the little wooden compartments too and he might like to play with it that way. So I'm super excited about that. The last two things is his books. I got more Valentine's Day themed books for my children. We're big readers. I read to them a few books every night. We have book time before bed. That's like a consistent thing that we all do together. So I have these for him. And then I ordered off of um, my son's scholastic calendar for his preschool. Um, for the other two, I got How to Catch a Lovasaurus. I got the if you give a mouse a cookie but the heart one so maybe it's a happy valentine's day mouse i got and there's one more oh 
Like, you know the Giraffes Can't Dance book? It was the Valentine's Day version. It was the Love Giraffes Can't Dance. Well, I have those three books coming for my older kids, but the baby listens to those books too. But I keep themed books on the top of his shelf too. And board books are so great because he can pull down and get them and look at them and put them in his mouth. And it's, it's good for him. So I got him the ABCs of Love. How sweet. I love all the sweet little pictures in here like look how sweet these little animals are um we i actually have the abcs of kindness and it's a very sweet book too um but like peas take pride in everything you do just a sweet book and then the classic you were my little cuddle bug i am going to get one of these books for every season i have um you're my little christmas cookie up right now and it's the gingerbread man and we love it. I probably read that book every day. So now here's the year my little cuddle bug. If you get it on Amazon, I got it for like $4.50. Um, oh, the other thing I've learned about books, guys, is um, do you want to hear some tea on books? Sorry if this is chatty. I hope you guys like chatty videos because I don't know how to do it any other way. I just try to give you as much knowledge as I can share. Amazon, if you... Like, if you are a Prime member and you do your shopping for Amazon, they purposely make the price of their books lower than MSRP to steal book, to steal business away from other corporations. So, um, likewise, I know Target does the same thing. So, if you go in the store, the, when you buy a physical book in the store at Target, it's going to be more expensive than when you buy it online. But I have a remedy for that too, um, because sometimes I just like to go to the store and pick up a book or let my kids pick the book. Um, you can look it up online and they can price match you. I'm just talking about Target. I'm sure Walmart will do that too, but I'm not 100% sure. But I just wanted to like share with you those that two cents of information because the other part is I just like hanging out with you guys. Um, so that was my babies. I hope you got some ideas. Let me know what you think. Um, so next I'm going to show you my daughters. And again, my daughter's six. Last, but no one's ever least, is my daughter who's six. So some of these things are going to be like mirrored to what my four-year-old has. So this should be like a little bit quicker. But I got her um, some of the same dollar spot things. Um, so I got her the plus or the blocks. I got her the Crayola body paint crayon and it's pink so it's a strawberry scent. Um I ooh, I got her like an art thing too and art, this is like her realm anything artistic. Um it's a diamond painting and we've never tried one of these before. So um it, it comes with a little tool to put the crystals in. So um I think she'll really like doing this. Um, because this is new for her. So I got this from the dollar spot from Target too. And her bath thing is, um, this LOL Surprise Bubble Sprinkles Scented Bath Bomb Crumbles. Um, if you or your daughter is sensitive to bath products, I definitely wouldn't go with some rando, like, dollar spot product. But, um, we seem to be okay in that area. So I got this for her. So she also got a box of chocolates too. And hers is Hello Kitty. She likes animals more so I got it to mirror my son. Um, but she likes any chocolate and she likes and she does like cats, but she doesn't know to recognize Hello Kitty, but she'll still really enjoy it. And then for her specific things, I got her two toys too, but I was super excited because they're very, very Valentine's Day themed. Um, the first one is this LOL Mini Sweets Deluxe. And so I got this on like for eight, I think you can still get these for $18 at, try like Target, Walmart, Amazon, all these big ones. You can still get them for $18. So you get um the Hershey's Kisses one in, in this one. And she um was normally playing with the bigger elbow OMGs, but she's recently gotten into playing with the smaller ones. So she'll like that. Uh, look, it, this is Rainbow High. This was the, this is, um, oh, what's her name? Kira, Kira, Kia Heart, Kia Heart. 
Like, she has heart pains, hot pink hair. Um, she used to be exclusively at Target, and now she's sold other places, and I've wanted her for years. And she finally went on sale, like, it was below $20, and she originally started retailing for 40 She was, like, an expensive rainbow high doll. But I know my daughter is going to be obsessed with her because she's so everything she likes. Um, it's light pink rainbow hair. She's going to love it. So I'm so excited to put this in her collection of Rainbow High Dolls. The last thing here is Strawberry Cow. So, um, actually I, I made this. So I, um, it's called Amigurumi or Crocheted Stuffed Animals. I learned how to crochet, um, I've always known how to crochet since I was like younger, but I, I started crocheting animals um about a year ago and strawberry cow is my favorite creation um i was really proud of myself because i made its little horns like strawberries and so they're attached on and so the rest is just like a really plush material i love everything about these cows <laughs> i used to make them for other people um like i used to sell them but i don't i don't sell them anymore um but obviously i still know how to make them so um oh my gosh i love these so in my personal opinion if you allow your child to snuggle with these or play with them, I really would suggest that, like, it, it's three plus. Like, um, these crocheted animals are beautiful in a baby's nursery room or something like that, but I wouldn't, um, recommend giving them straight to a baby. And I take a lot of extra precautions for these safety eyes to be on securely. So, for example, um... They come with their own fasteners, but I have the extra large fastener behind the eye so it doesn't pull out. And then I super glue them in. Um, and even then, I, I still don't trust it because I've seen eyes come out of my three-year-old. And it could just be maybe because like I'm not that experienced of a crocheter. But my three-year-old, who I've made animals for, um, they've come out. So... I don't know, I just want to throw that out there. But yes, it's Strawberry Cow. My daughter is going to appreciate this so much. Um, this is going to be her third stuffed animal that I've made for her. Um, I've made her an otter and a whale. And she treasures them and values them and appreciates them very, very much. So I think she's going to flip out when she figures out Strawberry Cow is for her. Um, so I'm super excited. So let me know what you think or like what were some of your finds for um, your kids for Valentine's Day if you even do that or do you like do something different. Um, my husband and I do gifts for Christmas but we're not buying each other gifts for Valentine's Day this year. We're um, we're doing like making experience for Valentine's Day this year so I want to surprise him with like a romantic dinner so I wanted to make like his favorite food and then um he loves like his love language or favorite thing to do with me is to watch movies so I thought we could watch a movie together and his favorite dessert is cheesecake and like fruity type things so I wanted to see if I could make like an apple pie cheesecake to make for him and that's what I'm planning to do for him this year um so Thank you for watching. I appreciate all of the support that you guys give to my channel and I hope you guys are doing great. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.